quite a weekend for Colonel Baseball in Beaumont. We had a double header on Friday. Didn't play yesterday because of some weather and then ended up having a beautiful Sunday to close out the series. Couldn't really ask for a better weekend for Colonel Baseball. It, you know, and really we had a chance to maybe win all three, and, and but those guys are tough, man. They're good at home, and, and uh, they got a good pitching staff, and they got some hitters that are tough to get out. So, uh, But our guys, I was so proud of our grit and toughness today. They, they really responded, and, you know, we had to sit in the hotel all day yesterday and just kind of think about it. And uh, But our guys played hard, and, and we fell behind one nothing and had a couple opportunities for them to bust the game open a little bit with, with the bases loaded, and we made some pitches and made some plays, and, and we responded in a very championship way. Definitely. Cole Stapler shuts out Friday evening. Then your pitchers were in situations where Lamar left the bases loaded at the bottom, bottom of two innings. How did your pitchers really fight through every situation they faced? Well, you know, it all kind of started with, uh, you know, Cole Stapler really – uh, showing our guys what to do to get these guys out and, and he had a phenomenal outing and, and really sometimes when a really good arm can get your guys off balance and I think he did that to a couple of their hitters and um, you know we really didn't pitch that bad in game two we, we didn't make a couple of plays I thought we could have made and the score could have been a totally different deal so uh, but but Hans gave us what he had and, and then I could see him tiring quick he had to throw a lot of pitches in that first inning and and got out of a gym it could have easily been three to nothing after one and it was one nothing and that was critical because we right, responded right back and scored and then we jumped ahead three to one but we pitched it well out of the pin too. Golf came in and, and got us to the next guy and Alex Ernestine who started game two uh, after a day's break you know was able to come in and get two huge outs for us and uh, and, and Tarver came in and, and got another save so it was big. We pitched it and played defense and I'm extremely proud of our efforts and, and our mindset and our grit because it was it showed on the road. It's, it's hard to come over here and win two out of three and we did it. Definitely. And now you're only a half game behind Lamar in Southland Conference. I mean, how does a weekend like this change your mentality when you go and you're playing your next six out of seven games at home? Oh, well, yeah, it's it's big. You got to win all your series if you can. But to, to, to jump guys that are in front of you and, and better yourself for the postseason is big. And, and again, we got to take care of business at home. It's critical. And, and you don't want to put yourself in bad situations. But I think this can really jumpstart our guys into finishing really strong. And our, our guys have it in them to finish really strong. And, and, and and make a run and and really if we finish the way we feel like we're supposed to could be one of the hotter teams in the in the league and going into at the right time so it's what we harp on what we, we, we talk about a lot about and uh, but but it's been all of our guys it hasn't been anything that that our, we've done I think that it's been uh, our guys mindset and really come together at the right time a memorable weekend in Beaumont as the Colonels take two out of three from Lamar. They're right back in the playoff hunt in the Southland Conference, and they can thank Joey Morales and Chet House for two of the biggest at-bats of the weekend. Let's start with Joey because Lamar came into this game 15-6 and six when they scored the first run in the game, and they jumped out one nothing. Your RBI single in the second, it changed the complexion of the game. How can one play like that spark a comeback and a belief? Well, you know, uh, big two-out hits win games, we say, and that's a uh, two-out hit up the middle. And, you know, it's early in the game, so if we can get the team going and rolling and everything goes our way, um, that the their run that they scored first ain't going to affect us. Yeah. So. Well, and then it's close. It's a one-run game, and all of a sudden, Chet Niehaus says, it's time for my first home run of my Colonel career. A two-run blast into right field, no doubt about it. What did you see in that pitch at that point of the game against a pitcher in Tanner Driscoll who had made no mistakes until he served one up to you? Uh, well, I had missed a couple fastballs before in that bat, and he tried to go to the splitter, but it was a 3-2 count, and I, I was just sitting fastball, dead red, and he just put it put it where I could smack it. The mindset uh, during a slump, you've had a great season, and your batting average is still the highest on the team, but had struggled over the previous four games, didn't affect you, didn't bother you, came in, you were ready for your pitch. What do you do to keep your mind clear and, and to avoid the distractions? Uh, you just you can't worry about your batting average or nothing. You just got to go up there with the same approach every time. Knowing what you know now about how this game played out, uh, how big was Joey's hit and, and how that created some separation once you had your two-run homer? Uh, it definitely put us right back in the ball game. Uh, scoring first is a big deal, and uh, he just came back, tied it right back up. It was a new ball game. Second series that you guys have been able to win on the road in conference play, but Northwestern State feels like an eternity ago. A lot has changed since then, but this team behind Cole Stapler, Mike Hanchar, wins a two-run and a one-run game against a team that had won seven out of their last nine in the Southland Conference. What went right this weekend? I think our pitching staff did a great job, and we played tremendous defense, and those are the two things that we harp on a lot is pitching and defense. And uh, Stapler had an awesome outing. Ernie did as well. The results didn't get 
I mean, yeah. what he expected, but then he came in at the end of this game and uh, did what he had to do, and Hanchar did great. And uh, we all made plays behind him, and I think those are the two things that could help us win on the road. And anytime we can win on the road, that's very important. So, Is there a better feeling for an infielder than to look up there and see a, a zero next to the error count for, for both of your wins, especially knowing how many mm -hmm. big defensive plays were needed this weekend? Oh, yeah, for sure. Anytime uh, infield, we can do that any game. We're capable of doing that. And when we go out there and execute like we can, yeah, there's no better feeling. And uh, our, I know our pitchers love it too, so it's all great. You had a first-class view of a couple really nice plays that Gavin Webby made in, in center field today, but it was flawless defensive execution all across the board. Those are your brothers in center and right field, and Absolutely. tough to see Lee Clark go down with the way he did, but Quade Smith gives you a, a two-run triple. Uh, to have Gavin Webby make two of those catches, when you're right next to him and you can see that, that ball in flight, uh, describe th those moments for you when you know the game hangs in the balance and your center fielder makes the play. Uh, I, I knew he was going to catch him. I was just telling him to go get him, tell him how close he was to the wall, but I, I never doubted that he wasn't going to catch him. That he was gonna catch him. Well, now you've got a, a nice little home stand, six out of seven at home, and then one more series on the road. Month of May is here. You close April strong. What's next for the Colonels? Uh, got to take it one game at a time, and just got to keep winning, finding ways. Chet Neal sits the first home run of his Colonel career. It gave Nichols that three-run insurance that they needed, and, and Joey Morales at short, still leading the conference in assists. The chances you get at shortstop, it, it's custom fit for the way your pitchers approach the game, but that you get so many righties to pull that ball to you. How demoralizing is it for defenses when Cole Stapler with his sink fastball and, and hand try when he's pitching away, ground ball to Joey Morales, automatic outs? Yep, that's what I like to think. You know, I, I know they love it. I'm expecting when those two are on the mound, I'm expecting ground ball every single pitch. And uh, if I can go there and make the plays, that's awesome. Uh, I know they love it, and uh, I love getting those ground balls for them, out, the outs for them. So uh, Next up for the Colonels, SFA will have all three games available on GoColonels.com and ESPN Radio New Orleans. Fantastic weekend from Beaumont for Joey Morales and Chet Niehaus. Colonels take two out of three from Lamar.